Hello Libra and welcome to Appalachian Tarot. I am so glad that you have decided to join me this week for my first reading for your sign. Uh, this is a collective reading for the sign of Libra, uh, primarily sun, but if you are moon or rising you are more than welcome to join me here. Uh, as it is a collective reading, please take what resonates and then just leave the rest. You know, some of it's not going to be for you, it'll be for somebody else who's watching. Uh, if you do find this video helpful or insightful, please like and subscribe. Uh, I think that that would be very kind of you. And uh, share this video with a friend. Oh, there was a oracle card that didn't belong. So we're going to start with a Seasons of the Witch oracle card. Um, I like to open all of my collective readings with this, get a sense of what the universe wants to say to you. So what does the universe want to say to Libra this week? Using the Seasons of the Witch Beltane Oracle. Uh, it's the most seasonally appropriate deck available at this current time. Uh, they're putting out new decks all the time, though, so... Uh, anyway, alright, let's see what the universe wants to say to you, Libra, this week. Oh, this one. Oh, you got Goat! Oh, I love Goat. It's such a good card. Okay. Fearless. I am in the path I choose, for I've never been led astray, always finding my way. What a beautiful card. Um, first time I opened this deck, the goat card was the one that spoke to me. Um, all right. Your keywords are confidence and sure-footedness. Okay. Goat is a wonderful card to receive. Its presence in your reading being a sign that ideas, opportunities, and projects are entering your life at this time. You may not see this taking place just yet, but trust that things are going to happen behind the scenes and will soon become known to you. Your task when receiving this card is to believe in yourself and your gifts. Have you been afraid to reach for bigger goals? Have you limited yourself because you do not believe you are capable of achieving greater things? Goat is here to challenge you to step outside of your comfort zone and scale a bigger mountain. As goats only need a few inches of space to keep their footing, you only need to take small steps to work towards your dreams. You may not have what you need to cross the finish line, but each small action pushes you one step closer. Perhaps you have already achieved much, but wonder if you can reach even greater heights. No matter your step on the success journey, know that talent is only part of the equation. The only thing truly needed to rise is believing that you can. The rest can be learned as you go. Okay, fantastic card. Fantastic card. Um, I, I love this card, and I'm just going to check. I, <laughs> I've gotten burned a couple times where the, the video has stopped recording, so I just want to make sure that it's still recording. That's why I clicked that button there, in case you saw that. Um, still sort of learning the YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and jump into a Celtic cross reading, Libra, see what the universe uh, has in store for you. Uh, it looks like you are on the path to success and that you have everything you need to in order to succeed. Um, you just have to go ahead and be confident in yourself that, that you can ascend to these great new heights. So let's go ahead and meditate on that while I shuffle this deck and uh, see what the universe wants to say to you, Libra about this new journey you're embarking on. One where you're going to be taking small steps, but towards a, a, a great goal. Um, you know, sometimes things don't move as fast as we would like, but I once heard Estelle Getty, who played Sophia on The Golden Girls, say in an interview, someone asked her, you know, do you ever wish that you would have had this kind of success in your career at a younger age? You know, she didn't have any real career breakthroughs until she was in her 50s or so. And she said to that interviewer, success is sweet at any age. And I've always admired that answer. I think that's very true. You know, sometimes it takes folks longer than others to get to where they're going. But that's okay. You know, as long as you got there. So, all right. Um, I think one more time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, yeah, that, that'll do it. This card fell out of the deck, and it is the Six of Pentacles. Um, all right, so.
it sort of fell out sideways, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to read this. Um, I'm going to read it upright, but I'm going to kind of take the reversed meaning as well, in that um, perhaps you've been giving more of yourself than you should have. Um, Six of Pentacles is one of sharing prosperity. Um, if you look, this is a person who you know, is sort of giving alms to the poor um, because they have enough. And so maybe this is a chance for you to go out, Libra, and to begin giving back to the world. Alternatively, if we read this as reversed, you know, this is one where you have things that you need to take care of. You know, there's some uh, uh, karmic debt that needs to be paid. There's some self-care that needs to be happening. You know, you feel maybe overwhelmed as if somebody is overpowering you. Um, and you really are feeling like the subordinate party in a situation where you want to be the, uh, the boss. So we'll see, we'll see how the universe wants me to interpret that as we continue. Um, but bear those things in mind and really meditate on what this new journey you're embarking on is. I think you know what this change is that you need to make. Uh, even if I don't, you're going to understand it intuitively. Um, if you look, you know, the goat has the third eye right there. So I think that intuitively you already know what this is about. What's blocking you? Okay. Seven of Swords. Yeah, you feel like you're out of control, um, that you're not in control of a situation that maybe you want to be. Um, I do see that you quite possibly have felt some betrayal whether you feel like you've betrayed someone or you feel like they've betrayed you uh some sort of situation is not serving you anymore there's some pain here um there's also some optimism you know the the seven of swords i, I think i said this in um in Virgo's reading, actually, when this card came up, the Seven of Swords is one of those cards that is really um, contradictory in a lot of ways. Because on the one hand, you can look down here. In upright, it means betrayal, deception, getting away with something, acting strategically, trickery, you know. Uh, but on the other hand, it's gold. And the gold cards in tarot are, are almost always positive cards. And so getting away with something doesn't necessarily mean that you are, uh, you know, getting away with... It, 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 it means acknowledging the consequences, you know, or acknowledging that there were no consequences, that, but that you were still wrong in doing something. So maybe somebody's doing that to you and they're going to come clean. Maybe you're the one who needs to come clean in order to sort of climb this mountain here. We're going to continue on and see what else we've got. All right. In your immediate past, you have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, this is the soulmate card to me. Um, not to everyone, but to me, this card always represents soulmates. It's one of my favorite cards in the deck, even though it is sort of a sad card, um, because these people are willing to walk through hell together with one another. On the other hand, they're willing to walk through hell. Look, they're going through this really terrible snowstorm. They're clearly in need, and they can't see that the, the church is right behind them where they could, they could seek sanctuary. So they're not necessarily seeing that there is a, a path out. Um, to me, this tells me that you've been going through some difficult times, perhaps not alone lately, Libra, uh, but that, you know, things have not been, even if you haven't been alone, things have not been easy for you, um, particularly in the material plane. So this could be that a job is no longer in alignment with your soul. This could be that you've been having some financial difficulties. Um, this could be that there is something worrying you. Um, in the realm of health or well-being, something is troubling you and you're very acutely aware <laughs> of, of what the problem is. You just may not necessarily know what the solution is and that could be where the goat card is coming in here, talking about small steps towards an ultimate goal. Is that, you know, what is it? A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You, you gotta start somewhere and this could very well be about you starting where you're at. Um, it could be walking away from some sort of situation and salvaging what you can with this Seven of Swords here, um, particularly with uh, it blocking the uh, Six of Pentacles. I'm thinking that there is something here where it started out well and it is just not ending great and you feel as though you're just trying to salvage what you can. 
from this situation. Um, I am getting the feeling that this is something on the material plane and that it is quite possible that uh, something no longer aligns with you or you no longer align with something, whether that's a job or, you know, this is self-improvement. Um, possibly you need to get your health in check. Um, maybe you need to, you know, lower your cholesterol or maybe you want to build muscle or something in the physical realm. I, I do feel that this is very material, but we'll continue and see, see what's going on here. Um, yeah, okay. In the immediate future, if nothing changes, you do have the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Um, this does tell me that you, first of all, it just sort of reaffirms my belief that we're talking about something in the material realm here. So we're looking at something like physical health. We're looking at something like finances. We're looking at something like job security. Um, what I do see here is that you are quite possibly resisting working on yourself and making whatever change needs to be made. Uh, I think Libra that you desperately need to begin in a new direction and to start taking those small steps and it doesn't you don't have to change you know for example okay one of the things i'm working on in my life is losing weight and i've realized that i am not somebody who is ever going to lose weight by going on like a very strict diet because i just don't want to give up like certain like carbs particularly um but i can start substituting in healthier healthier dishes and that has helped me to lose some weight and so perhaps that's something that you need to do is looking you know like i said the goat is talking about small steps towards an ultimate goal you're scaling the mountain and you're scaling it slowly but you're doing it in a way that is manageable and that is something that you can continue on something you know and so slow and steady rent wins the race and that's kind of where you're at but if you don't make any changes soon um and you don't take this slowly and methodically, nothing changes. You're, you're just going to continue to have um, a lack of motivation and a lack of um, development uh, in your goals. You just need to go ahead and start small is what I'm seeing here in whatever this is. And again, this, this does feel like it's very much in the material realm. So for some of you, this could be about improving your health. But for some of you, this could be about a job. And so perhaps you want to be... Uh, a, a lawyer or a doctor or something that requires education and it's a very daunting process because that's a lot of education and maybe you only have a high school degree or a, a college degree and you're like oh do I really want to do that um, maybe start small you know maybe start with just one class see if it's something that aligns with your soul you know, especially, I mean, you could be somebody who is like a working parent or something, and it's very difficult to manage all of that at once. All right. In your conscious, so what you're aware of is the Nine of Cups reverse, and that is a lack of happiness. You are just really, really uh, dissatisfied and unhappy with your current circumstances. You know that a change needs to be made, Libra. You're just afraid to make that change. I get the feeling truly that you are scared of letting go of whatever this situation is. Um, I do get the feeling that for some of you, this could be an addiction of some sort. So you could need to quit smoking or quit drinking. Um, let me rephrase that giving up a vice let me say that it doesn't have to be something as uh dramatic as being an addict although i do kind of see that for some of you there is you're using something as an emotional crutch here um with the nine of cups reversed that's of course water energy water is emotions it's the plane of the emotional it's the plane of the spiritual but I do see unhappiness, and you're very aware of how unhappy you are, Libra, and I'm very sorry that you're unhappy. I, I hate that for you, but uh, the good news is the universe is telling you you can start to make changes that are going to make you happier and that are going to lead you to a better life. And it may be a slow process, but it's one worth exploring. Um, but you are very aware of just how unhappy you are. All right, what you're not aware of 
in your subconscious, what's really driving this situation is the star reverse. This is Aquarius energy, air. This is ideas. This is the plane of ideas. This is the plane of logic. I see that you really don't believe in yourself, that you don't think that you're strong enough. And I think that that really is just coming from being daunted by exactly how difficult this new journey you're embarking on is going to be and the candle just sizzled and when the candle sizzles that indicates that the universe is uh in agreement with my reading uh it's telling me i'm on the right track so what i'm seeing here is that you just do not have the trust in yourself to do what needs to be done you just feel very overwhelmed um by how difficult this is going to be but it's because you're trying to bite off too much at once like the goat you need to take small steps and those small steps are really going to come in handy i think virgo uh virgo i'm sorry libra uh, so libra i want you to really just instead of thinking about the goal and where you want to go i think the universe wants you to think about what's the first step you need to take don't think beyond that just think about the first step. What is the first thing you need to do in order to change your life and to get to where it is you want to go? Okay? Bite it off in small chunks. There's a song lyric, um, uh, Damien Rice's I Don't Want to Change You, which is a song that means quite a bit to me. Um, he says, I'll feed this real slow. If it's a lot to swallow, I'll feed this real slow. And I'm, I'm getting the feeling that you just need to to, to feed this real slow to yourself. Like, there's a lot on your plate. Start with one bite and go from there. Okay? Let's see what your energy is. Like, what is your control over this situation? What is your influence on this situation? Vir Libra. I keep wanting to call you Virgo. I'm so sorry. You're Libra. Okay. Yeah, you've got the Ace of Cups. You are very sad, Libra. There's a lot of sadness here. Um, a lot of emotional repression, a lot of, uh, a feeling of being frustrated, like you, you know what you want, you just don't know how to do it, or you, I'm a writer, uh, by profession, uh, some of you will know that, uh, for those of you who don't, now you do. Um, and so for me, the first thing I saw was like writer's block where you just open the laptop and you stare at the blank word document and you know, you need to be writing, but just the words don't come. Um, Libra, it's something like that where you know what needs to be done, but you just can't get yourself to, to that point to do it. Um, this could be also that you're depressed, you know, there's certainly this very, very uh, strong energy in this Ace of Cups reversed of being really clinically depressed. I don't mean like just sad, but I mean clinically depressed. And so for some of you, I do see that that seeking the help of a professional would be to your benefit. And that this, this whole situation could be that you just need to work on, on unpacking some past traumas that you've experienced. I mean, look, especially here with this Five of Pentacles um, in your immediate past, I think that you might benefit from just working through some things with a professional. Uh, if that doesn't apply to you, uh, or if you, you don't feel like that's what you need, that's fine. You know yourself better than I do. And as I said, I have a feeling that you know, while I don't know what the situation is necessarily, from the very beginning, you've been able to intuit exactly what the universe is trying to say to you through me and through this reading. So I want you to take what resonates, leave the rest. This is a collective reading. So, you know, some of the energy I'm going to be getting is not going to apply to you. But you know, I'm convinced with the goat card in particular, that you know what it is that the universe is trying to convey to you. So you you interpret this how how it applies to your life but what i'm seeing is that for some of you there is some clinical depression in here that you need to address possibly the professional and there's some trauma here whatever it is you're very there's a sadness here and that sadness is affecting the situation you are operating on a very low vibrational level right now and that's okay right because not all of us can be high vibrational all the time you know life is ups and downs and right now it seems like you're down, but that doesn't mean that you can't do what is necessary in order to be up again. Um, it just may take a while, and it may be one of those things. I think with the goat card in particular, I keep coming back to, you know, one small step at a time. 
You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, as the old saying goes. You know, you're not going to be happy overnight. This is a process. It's going to take time, and you just need to embrace that and believe that you can do that. And, you know, I, I've said this before as well in readings. Healing is not a linear process. Grieving is not a linear process. You know, you might have five good days and one bad day, or you might have one good day and five bad days. And that's okay, because that's just the way it goes. The point is that even if you're doing one step forward, two steps back, at least you are slowly moving forward. It's frustrating, but it's important to remember that you are ultimately moving towards your goal, even if it is at what feels like a snail's pace. All right, let's see what the outside influence on this card is, or on this uh, situation is. The Two of Wands reversed. Okay, fire energy. This to me indicates inaction, that you aren't really... Um, you feel stuck, you know? And the, the candle sizzled hard on that. So I think that you're feeling stuck. More than that, because this is outside energy, you're feeling trapped by this situation whatever it is you know if you look at oh i just uh i want you to look at the two of wands here he's holding the world in his hands he's looking out over the parapets at uh a bay you know essentially to me he's sort of daydreaming about travel and of being in a different place and reverse, that tells me that you're daydreaming about that well, but that you don't see any escape. You don't see any way of uh, getting out. And the, the situation is very suffocating, and you feel very, very trapped. I don't know what it is that you feel trapped by. Whether it's trapped in a relationship, trapped in an addiction or a dependency, trapped in a bad habit... It could also be that you're just, I, I don't know, but this is this is external influences, so I feel like there are people in your life, I mean, this isn't entirely internal. This is, there are people in your life who are preventing you from moving forward, who are maybe talking down to you or saying, you know, no, Libra, you're not good enough. You can't do that. Or no, Libra, you'll never be able to, to make that change. Or, you know, well, this is, you know, you're always going to be, X, Y, or Z, like you're never, Z, I should say, um, you're never, you're, it's limiting. People aren't believing in you, but you don't really need other people to believe in you. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's nice when they do, but you're the GOAT, you know? You're literally the GOAT, the greatest of all time, the GOAT. Look at this, like you can do this, all right? You have the power to change your own life, even if it is just one small step at a time. And other people may not be able to see the changes that you're making, right? Other people may not see that because they are so small. But those small changes will add up over time. And eventually these folks are going to understand that, oh, crap, Libra's been doing the work. Libra is changing. May not see it overnight. You may not see it overnight. But a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. You have to take that first step. Forget about the haters, you know. Uh, think Taylor Swift, 1989 era. Like, you know, I got, I, I, haters gonna hate, 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 you know. Shake it off, shake it off. All right. Your hopes and fears, you have the hanged man. Okay. You understand that there is, um, there is some letting go that needs to happen here. You have to surrender to the universe and you have to surrender whatever this crutch is that you've been leaning on. Um, it, I just noticed that actually this, this, this person right here is literally on crutches <laughs> in the Five of Pentacles. So I definitely think that for some of you this is uh, some sort of emotional crutch that you've been leaning on for far too long. You're hopeful that things can change. Your, your perspective on this is changing. You're beginning to realize that you can step into your own power and to take control of your own situation. You know, I'm, I'm sort of marveling here at the lack of major arcana cards. Um, you have the star reversed here in your subconscious. 
Um, but otherwise, these are all minor arcana cards, right? And the minor arcana are things that, you know, they're things that you have control over, that you can change. Um, major arcana are, you know, fixed moments in time. They're things that have to happen that way. They're things that the universe has already dictated. But we do have free will. And it is not a coincidence that there are far more minor arcana cards in the tarot deck than there are major arcana cards. Um, I, I know I just said the star was the only major arcana here, but the hangman is also major arcana. So you do have two major arcana cards here. But the hangman is upright, and the hanged man, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with tarot, which I know some of you are watching this because you're friends of mine and you might not, or your family, and you might not be familiar with it, the hanged man sounds bad because we think of like the hanged man as like, oh gosh, you're going to the gallows. Uh, it's not. The hanged man, look, he's hanging there, but he's at peace. It's almost like a meditation, you know? Um, he's just kind of chilling, you know? He's very much at peace with where he is. And so I feel like you're hoping to find this inner peace that comes through uh, these small changes that you're making. Look, this is a thing about where you have to sort of let go of the past in order to build a new future and to understand that that future is going to take time, that this happiness isn't going to happen overnight, but that you are the GOAT, the greatest of all time. And you can embody that and to become that by making these small changes and so libra i really think that that's where where you are right now you there there is a, a lot of hope in you and i think that is incredibly important because hope is what's going to get you through this and hope is what's going to make you see your own worth and hope is what's going to make you want to make these changes for yourself and I do get the feeling, again, that you, you, you are willing to be very compassionate with other people. You've got the Six of Pentacles right here where you're starting. This is you right now. So you are very compassionate with other people, and you are very empathetic with other people, but you need to extend that compassion to yourself. And I don't think that you necessarily always done that. All right. What is the most likely outcome if things change? Okay, yeah, you've got the Ten of Wands. Uh, this is fire energy, this is action. The card itself says in the reverse, because that's what it is, doing it all, carrying the burden, delegation, release, overstressed, burnt out. Yeah, whatever the situation is, you definitely are, are starting to feel burnt out. But uh, to me, um, the Ten of Wands reversed, you know, those, those meanings are... Look, I like this deck because... It, it does have the meanings on it and it's helping me to sort of learn like for example this is uh sagittarius energy you know so it, it is kind of helpful that way some of these meanings though on, the, on these cards i don't always agree with i learned tarot the old-fashioned way and so i don't look at the meanings as much as other people would to me the ten of wands reversed is one of not carrying the burden it is putting the burden down all right He's carrying the burden when it's upright, okay? So reverse that meaning. Put the burden down. And I see that is what you're doing right now, Libra. You're going to be putting this burden down. You can't carry this, this bundle of, of, of wands up the mountain. It's too heavy. So you have to release that, okay? You have to release the, the tension that is within your soul, and it's very well quite possibly manifesting in your physical body as well with the pentacles here. I mean, you have um, several, you know, three cards here from, from the suit of pentacles, which is the material realm. And as I said earlier, this could be something about health. You know, stress does manifest itself in the physical body. That is absolutely something that happens. And so this could be you unburdening yourself and in the process, feeling physically better, feeling emotionally better, feeling spiritually better, and just being lighter overall as you ascend the mountain as the goat. Okay, I'm curious as to what's on the bottom of the deck. That's what we can't see. Oh, it's one of my favorite cards in the whole deck. It's the Page of Pentacles. Oh my God, I love this card so much. It is absolutely like one of my top 
it might be my favorite card in the entire deck because it is one of manifestation. It is one of movement. It is one of working towards goals of, um, you know, building your talent, you know, uh, building your skills. Um, I, I want to go back to the goat real quick. I want to just see if I'm remembering correctly. Competence and sure footedness. Okay. Um, Uh, do, 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 do. Goat is a wonderful card to receive. Blah, 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 blah. There's this, there's a part here. Your task when receiving this card is to believe in yourself and your gifts. Um, you may not see this taking place just yet, but trust things are happening behind the scenes and will become known to you. Um, goat is here to challenge you to step outside of your comfort zone and scale a bigger mountain as goats only need a few inches of space, uh, small steps towards your dreams. You may not have what you need to cross the finish line, but each small action pushes you one step closer. Um, to me, this is telling you, you know, talent isn't everything. You can have all the talent in the world, okay, but you have to build the skills. You have to do the work. You have to learn what needs to be done. There was a line in a movie I watched as a teenager uh, about this young girl from Texas who goes to like this fancy opera school. It's essentially supposed to be like Juilliard. Um, and she's kind of pushing back about having to learn classical music. And her teacher says, you have to know the rules before you can break the rules. OK, and there is a sense of that, like imagine, you know, one of the things I remember hearing about Beyonce was that her dad, when she was a young girl just starting out, would make her and Kelly Rowland go on these long runs while they were singing to help build their diaphragms and their um, uh, their capacity to, to hold these notes and to, to really do it. And so there's, there's a, there's work that is required. Beyonce is undeniably talented, but she's also an incredibly hard worker. And the only reason that she is able to be successful as she is, is because she has combined talent with diligence and dedication and hard work. And I see that here. You have the ability to do the work, to put it in, in order to succeed. And that is a fantastic way to end this reading. But we are not quite done yet because I do like to end these readings with a season of, or I'm sorry, not a season of the witch. We've done that. That's how I open the readings. We're going to end with an Oracle of Delphi card. And I like these cards for two different reasons. One is they are incredibly optimistic cards, which I like to end my reading with optimism. But the other one is they're just pretty to look at. So Libra, let's see what the universe wants to say to you as we conclude this reading, which has been a beautiful reading, by the way. I really think so. Um, you know, you're changing your life for the better, and that's just remarkable. I'm so proud of you. All right. You got the caretaker card. End, reunite, serve, accompany. Yeah, this cycle that you're in, it has to end. And you know that. You're aware of that you know that things can't continue as they have been. And so you are ready to take that step uh, towards ascending the mountain and becoming the goat that you are. And I'm just so proud of you, Libra, for starting to take charge of your own life and your own destiny and to exercising your own agency because we all have agency um, and you have control over this situation. I really think you do. It, it's it may be a long slog. You may be a slow uphill climb, but but Libra, I'm seeing that you're going to be triumphant in the end. So congratulations on this beautiful new, uh, this beautiful new path you're you're taking and this beautiful new journey you're embarking on. And I hope this reading helps you to have the confidence in yourself that the universe has in you, because the universe sees you as the divine being that you are, and uh, they want you to see that, Libra. All right. Until next week, y'all take care. Bye-bye.